Yo, yo, what's good YouTube? This is Zang Gudi, and today I got a new video for you guys. And basically, we're gonna be testing out a vulnerable WordPress website. All right, so how can we do that? All right, so if you watch the previous videos, you're gonna find out that basically we already have a vulnerable website of WordPress that's already installed on your Meta Exploitable 3 machine. So just to make sure that everything is going correctly, just go into this link. This is your local host and this is port 8585, which is basically hosting your WAMP server. So as you can see right now, it says over here that one of the projects is saying WordPress. If I also go over here and then I just press slash WordPress, it's gonna take us to their WordPress website. So it seems that the local machine over here is hosting a WordPress website. So actually let's try to get some information about that. All right, so there's a tool that is pretty cool over here in the web application analysis. You could find out it's called WordPress Scan, right? So WordPress Security Scanner is one of the best tools that I have found for actually uh, like uh, detailed uh, vulnerabilities and details about the WordPress website that you have, all right? So if you do not have, and you probably are not gonna have this, it's something called the WordPress Scanner API key. So just go into WordPress scan, all right? Create an account. And after we create an account, it's gonna give you a uh, password and it's gonna give you an API key, all right? So let me just log in. I probably will blur this out anyways, but I just wanna show you what you'll find. You're gonna find out. So hello, here's your API key. Just copy that to your Linux machine and keep it in a note on the side. All right, so we have everything set up right now. Let's actually open up the terminal and let's get hacking. All right, let's minimize this. Let's focus on the Kali machine now. I'm just gonna go switch to full screen and let's go. All right, so we already know from our previous videos in the ARP scan and the Nmap scan what our local machine IP is. And if you don't know how to do that, I would advise you to go and check out the advanced Nmap scanning videos and also the ARP scan, which is an advanced Nmap scanning too, which shows you basically the computers that are on the network, right? So if I just ARP scan, let me do that quickly for you and just scan my router really quickly. Here is gonna be the IP for uh, the machine that we're gonna try to hack, all right? So first of all, open up WordPress scanner, go to help. This is the first thing I always uh, start by. So WordPress scan, and then you can also do H, but I prefer the double, uh, hyphen because it explains what you're actually doing all right so let me clear and let me do that one more time all right so basically what we're going to be using today we're going to be using verbose we can use verbose we can use output file so we could save the logs to our file we can also use all of the other options this one is we're going to use as well the api token so it could bring us results if you do not use the API token, bear in mind, you're probably not going to get any vulnerability details. It's just going to say that it's probably vulnerable and it's not going to give you any vulnerable uh, vulnerabilities details. All right. So first of all, all you really need to do is wscan, then verbose, and then update. All right. So again, if you forget any command, you could just go on over here or any option, I'm sorry, and just... return that uh, option, all right? So it seems that I'm doing something wrong and that is fine. So I just needed to do the double hyphen. So my database is updated. Just make sure to update your database before actually doing this, all right? So WordPress can, then the URL, all right? HTTP, the local host machine, IP, the port, that is hosting the WordPress uh, FTP, WordPress, and then just add in your API token over here. We copied that before, so we can just go over here and then just copy 
this from any uh, note that you had before. One last thing, I can also save the output to a text file just like nmap and also like most uh, of these tools. So we can just save it to results.txt. Bear in mind, we're not on the desktop, we're in the root folder. So that is going to be in the root folder. So first of all, it shows that it probably is not doing anything right now, but that is because of just this option. It's saving the logs to a uh, txt file, all right? And we're just going to cat over that, and I'm going to display what the results are. So if we just do list directory, you're going to find out that here it is results.txt. So if we cat results.txt, here it is. Let's check out what it says from the beginning, all right? Uh, just give me a moment. All right, there's a lot of vulnerabilities over here. Oh my god. Uh, anyways, because I'm gonna probably keep uh, scrolling until eternity, but anyways, here it is. So first of all, it's just giving us uh, all the information about the website. It's served by PHP. It's served by Apache, I'm sorry, and it's powered by PHP 5.3. Uh, it's also, it says, uh, basically like some other details about the WordPress website itself. The, like the upload directory has this thing enabled. So it means that uploads is enabled, which is something that we actually, uh, hacked before in the web dev server. So let's continue and let's check out the vulnerabilities. So it says that there's 98 vulnerabilities identified, right? So I'm not gonna do the 98 uh, vulnerabilities. I'm not gonna actually exploit any vulnerability today, but I'm gonna show you how you can take WordPress scanner to the maximum uh, usage, all right? Again, if you wanna check out any of the vulnerabilities and how you can actually uh, hack them, you can go to any of the reference links that they have over here and it's going to give you more details about how you can actually exploit this WordPress website, All right? So again, this is just for training. If you're doing this on an actual live website, just make sure you first of all, you send an email to your server host and then just like make sure that you're doing everything legally, All right? So just a lot a lot of vulnerabilities there's also like a couple of uh, sql injections uh, that you could find over here uh, there's also a php object injection i didn't even know that uh, and so on and so forth all right so let me just scroll down this and let us do one other command all right so first of all we found 98 vulnerabilities right now we actually want to access wordpress itself right so let's just rerun this command but we're gonna add in one last thing and this is probably one of the most coolest things i have ever found on a tool and it's called enumeration and if you don't know what enumeration means it's basically when you ask uh, for a complete list of what is on something like if you go to a like supermarket and then you like ask them please enumerate me all the products that you have in your supermarket you're probably not going to do that but again that just what that actually means in english so enumeration and then capital u if you saw that before it's going to actually in the help uh, it says that this option stands for user. So let's actually try to get the user. Uh, okay, so I'm sorry. It's not enumeration. It's just enumerate. All right. So again, it's not showing any results. It's supposed to actually uh, not show these results. It's supposed to be in the TXT file. But anyway, uh, it is basically just right now trying to enumerate the users that are on the database right so let's check out what the results is going to give us again it's just giving us the same results that we did in the previous scan the vulnerabilities that exist and right now it's trying to enumerate the theme it's trying to find out vulnerabilities so they can enumerate basically the user it's trying to find 
any method to enumerate the users that are on the database. So as you can see, it's enumerating medias, it's brute forcing, it's already doing a brute force. And in the next video, I'm going to do a brute force on WordPress, uh, not on WordPress, just on word lists. And what word lists are is basically just a big file of uh, compiled passwords that you could try and test out and try to get access to an account by basically brute force instead of just like actually typing uh, each password that's basically what the tool does um, so I'm just gonna give it a moment or two maybe I'm missing something maybe I'm not but anyway it's again brute forcing author IDs attachment IDs is just trying to find out the users by basically brute forcing, right? So as you can see, it found out actually there are a couple of users. So first of all, admin, and this is what found by the author posts, right? Also, it's uh, give us and give us login error messages, so we tried to log in manager as well so admin manager user wp scan so i'm just gonna give you a preview of what we're gonna do in the next video you're probably not gonna actually do this in real life but this is what actually happens in the tool they just do it so much faster right so if we go to the wordpress again the website uh, that's on the uh, Metasploitable 3 machine, not on the Kali machine. So just go to your Metasploitable 3 machine and you're on WordPress, all right? So let's actually try to access the uh, login page, all right? So we already know that there are four users, all right? So let's say this is an actual realistic scenario. You probably found out that this is admin. So the most normal thing you're probably gonna be like, uh, like, if you have an admin user, you're probably going to have an admin password. This is not the case over here. Uh, like the password is incorrect. But of course, I already uh, know a user password, not the admin one. And actually, I'm going to do in the next video uh, just another uh, test, like I said, about the uh, brute forcing. But this is how actually somebody does this is literally just trying to access your account manually. So since that we already know that the Metasploitable 3 machine has the Vagrant username. So let's try out the Vagrant password. All right. Uh, all right, so it's not Vagrant, just Vagrant. And that's pretty much it. We just got access to the WordPress website and we can just pretty much uh, do whatever we want. Since that we got a, uh, let's check out the actually the, uh, like the permissions that this user has. So this is not going to be a, uh, uh, like an admin, but let's see if actually we can give it uh, like uh, roles. So yeah, basically you can just update this user. Like I, I probably know like admins are supposed to do that, but. Again, we just changed the user to an admin and basically we can just de delete this admin, like bye-bye admin. <laughs> and it's basic, basically telling us, go get a life script, kitties. So that is that is pretty cool. Like, I really like this a lot, right? So I probably felt into their trap, which is pretty cool. But again, uh... We got this to be an actual admin, so that is pretty cool. Uh, let's try to delete the manager, for example. Uh, so I think this, this is just like a script they do. Uh, so whatever we try to delete, it's probably just not just gonna give this uh, this uh, error. So just let me know in the comments if you have anything else that you try like try to change and actually changed. Uh, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. This was Yang Yiriyu and peace you guys.